Scratches and pops. Udo Kaduk listens intently to everything except the music. Looking through the microscope, he sees a dust particle was trapped in the record when it was pressed. Like a patient engraver, he runs a needle across the raw pressing until the groove is clean. I listen for whatever doesn't belong. Some productions are supposed to crackle. You hear the pop, and normally you stop the record there. I understand music a bit. I know what isn't part of the rhythm and needs correction and when it's intentional. You have to have a steady hand and move the needle delicately. You need a feeling for it and not use force to try to get rid of these pops with coarse movements. This is the new record by the Beastie Boys. 8,000 copies were ordered in white vinyl for the American market. The demand for traditional vinyl records is so great that the U.S. band ordered a second pressing. That's no problem for Palas, a family-owned company where everything is still done as it was back in the 70s and 80s. Here I have a lump that would be turned into a record. This particular one is waste, but this is what it would look like when it's put in the mold with a label. And then a record is pressed at about 110 degrees Celsius. 24 hours of preparation, most of it by hand, are needed before the music can be pressed into the vinyl. The staff is experienced. Many of them have worked here for almost 30 years. The company produces about 10,000 records a day. Metallica, The Police, many artists have Palas press their records. Managing director Holger Neumann is especially proud that Palas has pressed the entire Rolling Stones catalog. And Palas is selling noticeably more vinyl records than it did a few years ago. The CD was a terrible blow to the record industry. Some business friends gave us a tip. If we didn't need the space, we should leave the machine standing ready to produce. And then came the day when the love parade started and DJs needed records to scratch. And some of them asked us. That was a signal records were coming back. And now, knock on wood, we're busy again. Fans of vinyl want some popping and cracking. The quality control department quickly checks out the Stones, Supertramp and the Beastie Boys. If the controller gives a thumbs up, production can start. The records are put in sleeves and packaged, almost entirely by hand, and ever more of them. Sales at Palas grew 20% last year.